God flooded the world because he regretted making human beings. His heart was filled with pain. Um, I think this really shows how sad God was um, with humans turning away from him and leading a sinful and evil life. And he felt he had to put a stop to it. Um, but God, God wasn't hasty in it. Um, he was actually very patient and um, he gave lots of warnings. And he called Enoch um, to be a prophet um, to tell the human race um, that God was coming to judge them um, for their ungodliness. Um, but people ignored the warning. Um, and his son um, was called Methuselah. Um, and that man means um, when he dies, it will happen. Um, but Methuselah actually lived for 969 years. Um, so God gave the human race um, long enough to change their ways, um, a big and long enough warning. Um, but people still didn't listen. They still didn't believe. Um, so he fl flooded the world. Um, the New Testament looks at the flood as a warning um, for a similar day um, to come um, when God will um, finally judge the world and end, end the world. In Matthew, Jesus tells the followers, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be in the coming of the Son of Man. So Jesus warns us to get ready for um, this, this great judgment day. Um, which can seem a bit scary, but we're we're not caught unawares. Um, we can be saved if we if we turn to Him. Um, but I think there's a there's another um, thread to it. Um, Noah was a preacher of righteousness, and I think that we're called to be um, preachers of righteousness in our generation. Um, and uh, people ignored Noah. Um, and people will ignore us, um, but we're there to gently plant seeds um, in people's hearts and, and, and point people towards Jesus. I actually had a dream recently, um, which I shared with Bromley North, um, and it was the end of the world was coming, and it was being reported on the news that Jesus was coming, that um, the media was going to stop, the world was going to stop, and it was chaotic, and um, some people were like running to their family, um, to to tell them to say goodbye. Um, some people were down on their knees and some people were ignoring it all and they didn't believe it, even though it was being reported on the news. Um, and I think that just shows how we are at the moment. Some of us are serious in our faith and um, believe that there will be um, a judgment day. Um, and then other uh, others of us um, don't don't believe that um or have a lukewarm faith or don't don't haven't turned to god at all um and it was it was a really real dream um i don't know if it was from god or it was from from my thoughts um but experiencing it made it really real for me um and um it made me sure that that there will be confusion in, in the end days and end times. Um, um, but for us to to um, call people to, to Jesus and to remain strong in our faith.